Welcome to Monday Middays with Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you all. I was just doing another video and then you know life was being hilarious and <laughs> monthly on the first but oh no okay perfect we're still going all right so welcome to Mondays with Megan. We're gonna do a little movement break today and just <laughs> de-stress a little bit. <laughs> the tsunami sirens are always alarming, even though we know that they're just testing them, it's still a little bit like that. <laughs> so um, we wanna make sure you're staying in your pain-free range of motion. Today we're gonna to be taking a little movement break. I wanna teach you how to take a yoga break at your desk because we all spend so much time sitting down that it's probably showing up in your body and all sorts of aches and pains and sleepy muscles and all the things. So teaching you how to take little mini yoga breaks throughout the day so that you can keep, increase your energy so you stay more focused, you stay you know, in your creative zone of genius and you're not just distracted by aches and pains and you know, all the things that tend to happen. So I, we're gonna get back into that so we can just jump ahead. I do have an awesome announcement that I'm gonna share with you about a massive giveaway, so I'll share at the end um, about that. So, But if you like winning awesome prizes, you're gonna love that and it's super easy to win. Okay, so let's get going. So we're gonna stand or sit nice and tall and <laughs> you can just go ahead and bring your hands together in front of your heart. So draw your chin back, lift through the center of your chest and then relax your shoulders. Let's close your eyes, take a big deep breath and breathe it out. Soften your jaw. Now I want you to think about something. How do you want to feel for the rest of the afternoon? Do you want to feel focused? Do you want to feel clear? Do you want to feel energized? And I want you to pick one thing that you want to feel and I want you to repeat it to yourself. So tell yourself, I am whatever it is. So when you breathe out, you tell yourself that setting the intention to feel that way, making the decision to feel that way. Okay, exhale. Good stuff. Okay, so open your eyes. What you're gonna do is interlace your fingers so that the tips of your thumbs touch and you're interlaced all the way up to the base of your fingers. You're gonna drop your shoulders and your elbows down and you're gonna sit or stand nice and tall and you're gonna to start to roll one wrist and then the other away from you. So as we do the movements today, just make sure you're staying in your pain-free range of motion. Okay, so notice how this looks very different than this. <laughs> okay, so try to keep it so that your wrists are really the origin of the movement and really the only thing moving. Your elbows and your arms move a little bit, but it's not doing snaky dance, okay? So you're trying to keep yourself, you know, check in on yourself. Are you actually doing something that looks sort of like what I'm doing or are you doing something different? <laughs> okay, now stop and go the other wrist towards you first. We often forget the beautiful wrist and ankle joints because, you know, unless they complain, we kind of forget about them. Um, but they definitely can be influenced by our posture. So we're gonna just shake your hands out like you just thoroughly washed your hands and you're drying them. <laughs> okay, thoroughly washed. So you're kind of flicking them like this. And then you can do a little flap like, oh, it's hot, oh, it's hot. You're flapping them a little bit. So it's also good for doing that different range of motion. Take your arms in front of you and then relax your shoulders down and then spread your fingers as wide as you can. So notice how my palms are facing down here. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bring your arms in and squeeze your fists. So now see how my palms are facing up. So my thumbs are out to the side. Okay, so go forward, flat palms, breathe in, exhale. Drop your elbows down, especially if you're like, oh, my neck, my neck. You're gonna drop your elbows down lower towards your hips. Ready? So you're going forward, and back. Sit or stand tall. Ideally, you're standing. You squeeze your bum to squeeze your belly in a little bit. Let's do three more. So spread your fingers nice and wide. Three and two. Good. Oh, and one. And now pull your shoulders back. You're gonna roll your shoulders. So remember, when we do these movements, you do just what feels good for you and it's gotta feel good in both shoulders. If one shoulder is like, ah, ah, doesn't feel good, then make it smaller, okay? So make it smaller. And then maybe you go reaching up and then pulling down. So just to show you, I'm, I'm taking my arm down by my side and my hand kind of touches my leg every time. So I'm not reaching too far behind me. I'm keeping my arms in the same plane as my body. Three more. And are you still breathing? 
two, hopefully. And one, good oh, last one. Reach your arms out to the side. Stay here, I'm just gonna show you. So you're reaching your arms out to the side. Notice that my star fingers here, so you spread your palms as wide as you can. Shoulders drop, take a breath, and breathe. So squeeze your tummy in. Good, so what I want you to do is keep your arms up and you're gonna circle backwards. Circle backwards. We will stretch your neck in a minute for sure, but we gotta warm everything up, right? So we gotta get some warmth, some blood flow, some energy, or in yoga we call it prana, flow into the body so that we can stretch safely. Four, three, two, one, you're done. Take your arms, right arm on top, reach your hands as far away as you can and then give yourself a hug. Drop your shoulders down, elbows up, chin down, close your eyes, breathe deep. Remember that feeling that you wanna feel. As you exhale, repeat it to yourself again. Feel it in your belly, your heart, your mind. Exhale, good, okay, so make note. Hopefully your right elbow is on top. You're gonna take your arms out wide and then we'll take the left elbow on top. Or if you did this last time, then switch and do the other elbow on top, okay? Drop your chin. Breathe. Breathe into where you feel the tension on your upper back. Nice deep breath. Good, now. Okay, and now reach your arms for the ceiling. Take a breath. Pulling up, so sitting or standing tall, pulling up as tall as you can, reaching through your chest and the crown of your head, and then you're gonna sway over to one side. If it feels okay, you can bring your hands together. If that doesn't feel good, then keep them apart. And just lean yourself over from side to side. Remember, if you get to a spot and you're like, ooh, I don't know about that, then we wanna just make sure that we're not pushing into any painful range of motion. Keep yourself safe, keep breathing. Good, we go up and over. Beautiful. One more time. Are you breathing? Perhaps. Good, up you go. Take your hands behind your head. Okay, and again, if this doesn't feel good for your shoulders or any part of your body, then you can just take it so that you look like a cactus, right? So you do it with both arms, so you kind of have your arms out to the side like that. Otherwise, if it feels all right and you have your hands behind your head, just stay there, please. Take a breath. Good, squeeze in with your belly, and then we're going to the side again, but now we're stretching a little bit different area in your back and different um, part of your, your arms. So you're stretching more your tricep and your lats here. So make sure to breathe and come up, other side. Reach your elbow that's going up, reach it to the ceiling. Fabuloso. Okay, we're coming back up, last time. And now exhale, lift your chest, like you're kicking back. Like you were over here kicking back on the beach, Maui. It's relaxing, so really feel that you're trying to lift your belly and your chest. So the spot where you feel the squeeze between your shoulder blades, imagine that area moving forward and up a little bit. Make sure you're protecting your lower back by engaging your abs and your bum. Squeeze your bum a little bit. If you're not sure what bum is, squeeze your butt. <laughs> and then breathe. I mean, who doesn't know what a bum is, but I just throw it in there. And then release your arms. <laughs> I didn't want you to feel left out if you don't know what a bum is. <laughs> okay, now roll your shoulders back. And we're gonna do three. It's also yuck yuck yoga. Two <laughs> and one. Okay, last one. Hands behind your back, shoulders back. Bend your elbows a little bit. Breathe, drop your chin. And if this is not feeling good for your shoulders to have your hands together like this, then you can just either maybe grab on the side of your shirt or just reach your arms back. Okay, that's totally fine too. Drawing your chin back, bend your elbows a little bit. Good, make sure to breathe, squeezing your belly in. Perfecto. 
and then release your arms. Roll your shoulders a little bit. Do a little yoga dance. <laughs> Why not? And now we're gonna take your arms and rotate your arms so that your palms are facing forward. So you're giving me two thumbs up. Close your eyes and breathe deep. Good, so we're gonna do one more movement, which is great for your whole spine. So you can do this sitting down or standing up. So you can, sorry, my microphone is sliding away. So from the side, what you'll do is bring your hands to your legs and have your hands on your legs. And you're gonna inhale and lengthen your chest. So you're lengthening the front side of your body here. And then we're gonna exhale, rounding your back. So we inhale and lengthen. Exhale, lift and round. So again, this can be done sitting down. Okay, so let's do a few more. Monitor how it feels in your back so we're not pushing into any pain. Good, we'll do three more. Remember to breathe. Squeeze your belly in. So I want you to use this as a a opportunity to really pull up from deep in your belly so your belly button pulling towards the back of your waistband and then from there sitting back up or standing back up nice and tall containing activating through your core muscles so you can feel drawing in and then lift through your chest and then you can draw your chin back and let your arms relax down by your sides close your eyes please Notice if your breath feels a little bit more free, if you feel like you can breathe a little bit more deeply. And we'll finish up, actually open your eyes. So we're gonna finish up, we're gonna do, a, we'll toss in another M for Mondays with Megan. We're gonna do a mudra. So this, this mudra is called Hakini Mudra. So it's mudra of the mind. Oh. There's another M, that's great. Okay, so mudra of the mind because it actually stimulates the part of your brain that connects the two sides of your brain um, called your corpus callosum. So your fingertips press together, draw your chin back, and again, close your eyes. Press your fingertips together, soften your shoulders and your jaw. Breathing slow, deep breaths. So there's actual measurable activity happening in your brain right now between the two sides or the hemispheres of your brain. So if you're familiar with a brain and how it looks, you can kind of visualize that in your mind's eye. And I like to imagine little zips and like electrical sparks going back and forth because that's actually truly what's happening. So breathe deeply. Or if that's not your jam, if you don't want to visualize, you can just look in and up towards your forehead Keep your eyes closed. Take three more big deep breaths. So with your attention and with your breath, you're allowing energy to flow through and throughout your body. And you are so welcome, awesome. So let me know in the comments, those of you live and those of you watching later, how you're feeling now. So that was a little bit of a Monday movement break with Megan, teaching you how to take a yoga break right at your desk. That was like five minutes, right? And I hope that you feel really good right now because getting your body moving, getting energy flow, blood flow throughout your body is a really great way to help you stay alert. <laughs> i.e. have energy throughout the day, getting out of the ouchy slouchy posture, waking up muscles so that you can hold strong posture so you're not kind of all over the keyboard all day long. Your brain actually really does like it when you take breaks, although you, you know, your thinking mind is like, no, no, I have too much to do, I cannot take a break. But your brain actually becomes more productive, more clear, more focused when you take breaks. So believe it or not, <laughs> there's a lot of science behind it, which I'm more than happy to share. There's actual 
research that validates how important it is for you to take little breaks throughout the day. Because then you go back to work and you're like, oh yeah, I just had a good idea. Or oh, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling clear, I'm getting things done. So it's really important to you know, work with your natural cycles and take little breaks. And, and, you know, I know you're passionate about what you do, but it's also important that you take care of you too. <laughs> and I love to help you with doing that. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm about to announce in three hours, I'm about to announce a massive giveaway inside my global community of energized and empowered entrepreneurs to help you go from being exhausted and overwhelmed to feeling energized and empowered so that you have all the tools you need to up-level your business, your mindset, your strategies, your confidence, um, just so many tools inside this giveaway. So it's a free giveaway, it's happening inside my community. I'm about to announce it in three hours and the first prize is valued at $5,550. And it's jam-packed with all of those amazing resources and so many more, including a full scholarship to my Refresh and Revitalize program, which helps you take care of you so you can take care of business by making sure that you are staying nourished from the inside out, using the vitality pillars so that you are thriving. And then also in the second prize, which is valued at $2,750, which is again, super awesome. There's actually three months access to Yoga at My Desk, which is, you just got a little experience of. So definitely come and join us inside the community. There's amazing people from all around the world, Spain, New Zealand, Australia, Canada, the US, um, lots of places in Europe, in the UK, South Africa, like literally we almost have the whole globe represented in there, which is oh, so cool. So I'd love to have you join that community and win the awesome giveaway. So the giveaway starts tomorrow and I'm going to be sharing all the details of how you can win that inside the community later today at three o'clock. So definitely head over to my bio and head over to my free community because there's a lot of cool stuff happening in there besides just the giveaway, which is awesome. And then there's just super cool stuff. I've got a workshop coming up called Master Your Morning, which helps you get your routine, your morning routine dialed in by teaching you the five essential ingredients so that you can rise and thrive. So lots of good stuff happening in there, but I won't keep you any longer. I hope you have an amazing day and I hope you enjoyed your little yoga break and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.